To any Christian who's surprised by the kind of sexual behaviors and sexual identities we're seeing emerging at the moment, I think I would answer, I, I would give a twofold answer to that. I would say, you should be shocked because this is not a trivial thing. Uh, it's very interesting in scripture. There are a lot of sins outlined in scripture, but sexual sins seem to have a particular cachet. Uh, Paul has very, very strong things to say about uh, the man who sleeps with a prostitute because you know, sexual sin uh, involving his union with, with somebody who isn't his wife, that, that carries a particular horror for Paul. And you only have to look at the history of society to know that, that sexual sins, sexual desire is often one of the most powerful and powerfully creative and powerfully catastrophic forces within uh, human history. So I would say to any Christian, you need to remain shocked by this. Do not allow the, the normalization of pornography, the normalization of wickedness to dull your senses to the outrageous horror of what is being perpetrated. But I'd also say don't be surprised. Don't be surprised because there is a long-standing history of what's going on today. You can see how this has emerged over time. The speed can be breathtaking. The speed uh, it, it has caught us all by surprise. But when you actually go and, and, and get down into the history of philosophy, the history of technology, the history of culture over the last two or three hundred years, it becomes obvious that, that what's happening now is the result of, of deep-seated and long-standing causes. So it may be slightly odd to put it this way, but be shocked, but do not be surprised. Human beings are capable of doing all kinds of terrible stuff, and all of the elements are in place for the sexual revolution to have taken place, and indeed to continue moving forward. You know, what, what, what will fall next? Will it be the, the taboo on incest? Will it be the taboo on pedophilia? I hope the taboo on neither falls, but I think we have to accept that the conceptual framework uh, for holding those things in place has long since vanished. So be shocked, but do not be surprised. If you're surprised by this, then you will get overly depressed by it. Do not be surprised. Prepare for it.